Hey, guess what? The Technic McLaren instructions are finally online, and apparently they updated the wheel cover sticker. Wow, let me see. What a nice move from LEGO. Paying attention to the... Di Wait a minute. What is this thing? What's up, guys? This is Balash from Racing Brick. So, this was the news from last week, the digital building instructions for the 42141 Technic McLaren Formula 1 race car were finally uploaded, we've been waiting for them for like a month or so. You could see a post about this whole thing from me on social media during the weekend, and initially I didn't want to make a video about it, but there were so many questions and theories, so I decided to sum it up. Many of you asked how official this change is, well, the digital building instructions only have the new version, and all photos on lego.com were updated, except the box art. I'm not sure if it means that stays the same, but we'll see. I spoke to lego customer services about this whole thing, more about their answer later. So, here's what happened. If you check the photos or the building instructions, apparently some of the stickers were changed. The most obvious one is the sticker on the wheel covers, but there are some other updates as well. These are only cosmetic changes as far as I'm concerned, only affecting the stickers, there are no changes in pieces or anything related to the build itself. So, this should be good news, LEGO is making the set more accurate, right? Well, I'm not sure. But let's see what exactly was changed. The most conspicuous one is the update on the wheel covers. On the first version we had a sticker with the Pirelli and P0 labels, trying to simulate the print on the tires. As we have these thunder tires on the set, the LEGO wheel covers have to be much larger than the ones on the original to cover the inner edge of the tires and to simulate the new 18-inch wheels. So again, this was supposed to represent the print on the tires and not on the wheel cover. Since Formula 1 cars run on slicks and only use a similar threaded tire in rainy conditions, LEGO chose to put the blue design on which represents the wet Pirelli tires. This is the 2022 chart from Pirelli, as you see all the different compounds have the P0 branding, except for the intermediate and the wet ones, those are labeled as Cinturato. When I did my initial preview and review about the LEGO McLaren F1 set, we were still before the season start. I thought maybe Pirelli will update their branding, I was sure LEGO and Pirelli did consult about this during the development of the set, since they did get the design right on the Speed Champions edition of the Mercedes AMG 2021 F1 car, correct color, correct label. But then we saw the first photos about the tests, then here's this chart, it seems that the wet tire is still supposed to look like this, instead of this. Ok, I know, not the end of the world, there's no need to nitpick. But LEGO decided to change the design. This is the initial one, this is the new one. What exactly do we see here? First, I really thought that they simply blurred the text and added the McLaren logo, which seemed to be super weird. But then I checked the photos online, and this design is actually the one that was on the real-life McLaren F1 car at the official reveal. But there's one obvious difference. Most of the teams chose to run with a much smaller wheel cover compared to the one that was present on the concepts from last year, that's what you can see in the LEGO manual as well, by the way. So, the wheel cover is much smaller, the print should be smaller as well. Previously we had the tire print at the same place, now it's the wheel cover print but with a wrong scale, it's a bit confusing. Yeah, but at least now we have the correct design, isn't it good? Well, this was the correct design for a month or so approximately. But since then McLaren signed the sponsorship deal with Google, and among other updates the cars got a new colorful chrome style wheel cover. This means this design is no more accurate anymore than this design. Why did they bother to change them? Some folks said that Pirelli was probably not happy with the mistake and wanted to have their branding removed completely from the car. Well, they disappeared from the wheel cover, but the Pirelli logo is still proudly sitting on the tip of the nose, so I don't think this theory is the correct one. Maybe they asked for a correction on the wheels, but I still don't understand why LEGO didn't choose to replace P0 with the correct label for the wet tires then. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments, please. So, apart from this whole mess on the wheels, some sponsors also disappeared from the car. These are the changes, one gone from the front, two on the side behind the cockpit, and one from the inner side of the rear wing. According to some comments, the reason might be that these sponsors are no longer supporting McLaren in 2022, so they were removed. This might be an explanation, but I'm not sure about it. 
Most importantly, this was supposed to be the 2021 livery on a 2022-ish car design, so it's quite obvious that some of these sponsors are not present this year. Maybe the whole mess with 2022 being on the box caused this? Possibly. I'm not expert in sponsorship deals, but it's yet another reason why it would have been much better to have either the 2021 McLaren car released as a Technic set, either they should have waited until fall or winter 2022 and release a proper representation of the car from this season. I guess they wanted to use these new panels and since they only fit the 2022 car, the second option could have been the best choice, but here we are. So, stick a sheet change for the set, reasons are mostly unknown, execution with the wheel covers has more questions than answers. I reached out to LEGO customer service yesterday, they were super helpful as always, but unfortunately they had no information about the reasons of this change or when this new version will become available. There was one important detail though, they asked me if I wanted to have the new sticker sheet, collected my data, and as they said it will be shipped to me, free of charge, once it will be available. So, what do you guys think about this change? Was it a good move? Does it make sense at all? Will this make the initial version a collectible item with insane prices like we saw with the Osprey? I've seen people saying they are saving the sticker sheet because the value will skyrocket. Do you really think anyone would pay a higher price for the sticker sheet alone? Let's discuss all these in the comments. I will of course provide an update in a pinned comment if anything official is shared by LEGO in the future. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. I strongly suggest to subscribe with notifications as plenty of exciting videos are coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.